John Akibwa rose from humble beginnings, born in 1949 and raised in Abako Sub County, formerly in Lira District. Abako now lies in Aleptung District, which was carved out of Lira in 2010. In 1972, aged 23, John Akibwa was to make history when he participated in the Munich Olympic Games and won gold for Uganda. Angie Nokelo, the representative of all the persons in Aleptong, went to school with Akibwa. He was very friendly to his fellow pupils. So he started playing athletics when he was still very young. Okello says his friend's talent was spotted at an early age and he became the admiration of other youngsters. He participated in athletics, high jump, he was doing high jump, he was doing up step and jump, he was doing long jump, he was running, he was doing marathon, he was participating in all kinds of athletics, he participated in all of them. These details are also confirmed by the runner's younger brother, Dala Boa, a retired civil servant who remembers how their father helped identify the talents and encourage them to excel. Uh, sport activities actually originated from our father initiative, where our football field was in front of the house where people have now built. Yes. It was meant purely for football and the father was not, was not allowing anybody to build there. After his death, then people started what? Building. He was, he was a footballer here in Abako P7 school. He was doing it very nice. He was bringing us to go football. At this time, we could not get us at home here. Most of us were in the football field. Started from morning up to six, then we come back home. Uh, we used to have even a, a bell here in our home here. Yeah. And if it comes to lunchtime, you have to ring the bell. Then people come out from where? From the football field. His potential was spotted long time ago. And teachers expected him to really climb ladders in terms of athletics. Yeah. So when he joined the police, yeah. the police also realized that his potential was great. So he continued with his training until when he really clocked his climax and got a gold medal in 1972, during Ida Min's regime. However, Akibwa's glory was not to last very long. Now, when he returned, life was not all the best. We are told that uh, when President Idi Amin recognized the fact that uh, Akibwa, being a legend, was getting much more popular, and the political situation in Uganda then was deteriorating, Akibwa made a choice to run for his dear life, and he became a refugee in Kenya. Members of parliament and district leaders say that despite the fact that Leptong is now a district, a lot more has to be done in Akibwa's memory. Now, when the news went all over the world that uh, the Olympic gold medalist of 1972 now lived the life of a refugee, I am happy that uh, Puma, a German international sports company, that had sponsored the shoes that Akibwa used during the 1972 Olympics. Came in and picked him from Kenya. He was employed in their marketing department. And that is why you see me dressed from down to up in Puma attire in recognition of uh, what they did to the late John Akibwa. The family's ancestral home is in shambles and the building's dilapidated. People after his death, Everything went away. No inner passion coming in, no inner help coming in, no everything not coming in. You can hear from Akibu was in a secondary school, people hear Akibu was in a secondary school. Then you can be convinced that there's something going on to his family. There's nothing. The former champion is buried here. In loving memory of golden boy John Charles Akibwa, those are the words that have been written on the grave of John Akibwa, but it's also covered with a glass. However, the glass has a broken uh, part of it. And this is just some of the issues and the challenges that the family says that they are facing. And they want help from different people, from government and from well wishes. They say, even after Akibwa won the golden medal, many people forgot about him after his death, despite the things that he had put or brought 
to Uganda as a whole. Inside the house, a picture on the wall is only memory of glorious days. Most of the family members living here are elderly. No essential food stuff we brought to them. No medication. One of the mothers who is very sick up now. She's having a, a cancer of leg. Can't get cured. No attention at all. In Abako, a school constructed in his memory does not reflect the contribution Akibo's name made to Uganda. Leader district local government has given another piece of land. We are yet waiting from government of Uganda to fully construct, furnish, and make the new Akibwa Memorial Stadium operational. Because as I speak now, there is only a skeleton structure of the old Akibwa Stadium, but that land has already been taken up by the Lira Regional Referral Hospital. So we appeal to government that we must walk the talk. Where this new site is supposed to be constructed, I am told, I went there, it is a bush. So we must, as a matter of fact, ensure that the Ministry of Education and Sports spearheads the process of ensuring that the new Akibwa Stadium is constructed. More research all in TV.